Okay, this one is called Who Can Subaru Beat in a Fight? ReZero from Mr. Jake. I think that he could beat Regulus in the fight with the new knowledge that Regulus, you know, has no combat prowess because he never had to rely on anything because his powers are so OP. When it comes to an Isekai anime, the main character is normally blessed with overpowered abilities which allow yeah. them to pretty much defeat any and all opponents. However, in the case of ReZero, Subaru doesn't have any notable powers apart from Return by Death. So the question is... He got his invisible providence that gives him a tummy ache after using it. It's pretty useless. Who can Subaru beat in the fight? Could he beat Petra? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is Petra strong? I don't know. There's some random people that are like sneaky strong. Like... Could Subaru beat Ratchins in a fight right now? Ratchins being the guy that, you know, has been trained by Reinhardt, the street thug. I don't think so. Subaru himself hasn't trained, though. And in a fight, are you allowed to use weapons? What is... In a fight, is everything just allowed? It's not just hand-to-hand? -hand? So authorities and the like, so Subaru can't beat Regulus, right? If we consider just like a regular fight. But if we're talking just hand-to-hand -hand combat, well, that's not fair because mages don't do hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff like that in the ReZero world. Now, when I say the word fight, I'm talking about a physical fight. So no magic, no divine protections, no authorities, no weapons, no beast transformation. Okay, okay, okay. He's setting the the, the regulator. So no beast, no powers, no nothing. One more time. He's no weapons, no Hand beast hands. transformations, etc., etc. However, for the sake of making this video easy to follow, I'm not going to be including most of the non-prominent characters, such as most of the kids from the village. So the first person <laughs> to- Most of the kids from the village, implying there's some kids that could actually beat Subaru there, bro. Subaru could easily beat in a fight is Petra. Of course, this- Yeah? Petra would lose? Yeah, I don't think Petra really has superhuman strength. She's just like a regular human child, right? This is understandable because Petra is a little girl. But what's really interesting is Tape has mentioned that Frederica is teaching Petra martial arts. What? Yo, if, Ta if Frederica's teaching Petra martial arts, I don't think we can be Petra anymore. It doesn't matter if we have all those, you know, physical training through the course. I don't think Subaru could beat Petra at that point. So there may be a point in the story where Petra could beat up Subaru. That's hilarious. Another character Subaru can beat in a... Another thing was, you know, fucking... Okay, Petra slapped the shit out of Roswell at the end of season two. There was quite a lot of force there. I think Petra is pretty strong. Now, Felix. Yeah, Felix just specializes in water magic, right? Healing. It's, he's not really a fighter. If we take away all the magic, if we take away all that, and we're just fucking fist fighting. Yeah, we probably he, we probably win. Physical fight is Felix. Despite Felix being a knight, he has zero fighting capacity. He carries a sword, but he cannot use it. What's the point? Carries around the sword but can't use it. Maybe as a replacement sword for other knights in case they need a sword. Felix is just carrying a sword around for other knights. And of course, without magic, Felix is pretty much useless, and Subaru would easily be able to take him in the fist fight. Next on the list. No way. Tonchin Khan? I mean, if we think about it in a 1v1, Subaru, like, straight after he got ported in, he fought them, he did pretty well. Now, it was a 1v3, and after he got, like, a good hit on every one of them, we just kind of started to get stomped. But if it was a 1v1, already in episode 1, he was showing, like, potential. I'm not sure if it can be the big boy here, but <laughs> definitely the mushroom head fuck, right? Next on the list is the Free Stooges. And even though Subaru does lose, that's only because it was Free versus 1, yeah. and Chin did have a knife. Keep him and before that, he did get some good hits onto him. Go watch that episode again. Mind, this is also pre-Arc 4. Arc 5 and Arc 6 versions of these characters would easily beat Subaru. No. <laughs> yeah, they got that Reinhardt training. It's not fair. But right now, maybe 1v1. Yeah, we could win. Fight. Next on the list is Melee. Maybe. Of course, without her. Yeah, I don't really know what Melee really does other than just, you know, control Beast. And we haven't even seen her yet, actually. Because, like... The interesting thing about her is that she didn't die. And the last time I remember seeing her in the anime was Frederica taking her away. I hope that Mady will come back. Her powers is too OP for us not to utilize. 
her divine protection, she's pretty much useless and she pretty much goes into the category of little schoolgirl like Petra and of course Subaru can easily be Wait, I thought that Meiru, like, wasn't it assumed or like, um, implied that Meiru bit, you know, ate Petra? Maybe it was through a different monster, but you know, Meiru making those chomping, you know, her mouth got huge in like the break time, like, did she herself actually like physically like bite and chomp like a monster? Or that is just schizo implications and no, she was always using, you know, witch fiends for that. Beat her in a fight. And if you've read Arc 6, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know the answer to this anyway. Coming next is Anastasia. Keep in mind, Anastasia doesn't have- Yeah, Anastasia can't fight for shit, huh? Like Priscilla, Felt, Amelia, Krush. Very competent, very trained. But Anastasia is just a, just a businesswoman, so I guess you don't really got much. Many physical capabilities, despite being a royal candidate, so she's not like Priscilla or Krush or Amelia, for example. She's pretty weak, so Subaru would easily win in the fight. It's just funny to think about just Subaru beating the shit out of Anastasia, just, just punching her face into the ground. That would never happen, but it's a, it's a very wild image in your head. This may be seen as a bit controversial, and I... Carmilla! Well, we're removing all the authorities. All the powers are gone. We're just fighting base, you know, strength. Carmilla, I guess, would just get rolled, huh? can expect people to disagree with me, but without Carmilla's strong? authority, she has no fighting capabilities. Tape has stated that Carmilla cannot fight. And yeah, she just literally exists and turns into a form that you really like, and... You'd be so enticed by her beauty that you forget to breathe almost, and you would die. And she gets others to fight for her using her authority because everyone loves her. So without that, she is pretty weak, and I believe Subaru can beat her. Most likely the only character that anime- Yoshua! Yo, this guy might just be already dead in the- I don't know. Yoshua right now is like delivering a letter that has to do with gluttony, and letters never work out well in ReZero. We haven't seen him after episode 1 in season 3 right now. As of this recording, only episode 4 has aired in season 3. I'm worried for Yoshua, but he can't fight for shit? That makes me even more worried. The onlys won't know, but Joshua, Julius' younger brother, is incredibly sickly and weak. In fact, Tape has stated- Sickly and weak? Oh, I didn't realize. He, he seemed pretty- I thought he was like a, a studious guy who was less about fighting and more about like academics or- Diplomacy, but he's actually sick and weak. That Petra could beat Joshua in a fight. Petra could beat Joshua in a fight. I think that we've now found somebody who is weaker than Lollies. Hold on, one second. One second, one second. Technical difficulties. And we're good. Tape has stated that Petra could beat Joshua in a fight. So, yeah, Subaru can easily beat him in a fight. Well, that's all the people I. That's it? Who else could? Let, let me, let, let's think for a second. I don't think Subaru could beat the Appa salesman. The Appa salesman is pretty fucking strong, I think. He, he's pretty beefy. Could Subaru, we can't think, we, no Arlen villager people. Garfield, fuck no. How about the Ryuzus? What about the Ryuzu clones, huh? I, ignore the suicide bombing capability, all of that. These tiny little lollies? How about we could just throw them around? Let's think about it. I bet he could beat Echidna in a fight. I thought that Echidna is such a frail and um, non-active person, right? Even in break time, we see Echidna barely able to keep up with Amelia due to her lack of cardio. But I think that was also kind of like, a, there was like a separate reason in like how this trial, like some, sort, some sort of settings, calibrations, I forget. But I thought that maybe Echidna is a very, like, uh, non-active person, so we could just, like, physically dominate her. Not, not in that way. Uh, who else? Patrash? Fuck no. Patrash would destroy us. Betrugus would probably destroy us. You've seen how fucking strong he is, even without his authorities. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Shit. I can't think of most right now. Otto? Otto would destroy us. Otto is pretty decently strong, isn't he? I mean, I've seen like him and Subaru quote unquote clash, but it was more like Subaru being so like enraged that he tripped over Otto and Otto's, I don't know, just 
crafty guy. I want to think of one more person. One more person. Regulus. No, I think Regulus is fine. I started the video with Regulus. I'm going to end the video with Regulus. Since this is a battle without any authority, magic, blah, 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 no weapons. And it's been told that Regulus has no reasons to practice martial arts or be physically, you know, capable. Right? Because of how OP his authority is. Subaru could beat him in a fight. Could come up with. I know some people would be saying, oh, what about Anna Rose? Or what about... Anna Rose. <laughs> yeah, what about Anna Rose? Could we not just roll her? About Beatrice. Well, you know, I'm not going to include all these little girls to show that Subaru can beat up little girls. <laughs> Come on. More. More watch time panic. You know, we need like 20 separate little girls, bro. For example, uh, some of you might be asking, why is Petrash in the thumbnail? That's Good mainly Petrash because I believe that Petrash would let Subaru beat her. Yeah, Patras would fucking eat when easy, but what a, what a silly ReZero video. I love silly videos like this, though. Just like random shit. How many lollies could Subaru beat at once? But hey, here's the link to Jake's video. Please give it a like. Here's the link. I'll see you next time.